I don't know that I could express enough how just stupid of a decision it would be for the Miami Dolphins to go and sign Tom Brady. What's up guys? Uh, man, the NFL offseason is in full effect now and I'm loving it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dive into Tom Brady. Nobody knows what this guy is going to do. Uh, is he going to sign with New England again? Return to the team that uh, has brought him so many Super Bowls, so much success. Return back to Belichick and, and the Crafts. What is he going to do or is he going to go to a different team? There are some rumors surrounding what he might do and I'm going to pick a couple of them apart, give you my idea on why they may or may not work and then how that might affect the Dolphins. So let's dive right into it. All right, so rumor number one is going to be Tom Brady to the Miami Dolphins. Now, I don't know that I could express enough how just stupid of a decision it would be for the Miami Dolphins to go and sign Tom Brady. Uh, and it would also be... I, if possible, even more so of a, a terrible decision for Tom Brady himself to go sign with the Dolphins. Reasons being, the Miami Dolphins don't need Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady is 42 years old. He's going to be 43. He is past his prime. And, and I'm sorry to say this for Tom Brady fans. He's just not the guy that he used to be. Tom Brady, at this point in his career, requires a good team around him to win. The New England Patriots last year had a great defense. Uh, but their offense was very lackluster and Tom Brady eventually showed that he can't necessarily get it done like he used to with you know, a lack of talent on the offensive side of the ball. The defense might be good and it might get him to the playoffs, but Tom Brady's not gonna do a whole lot unless if he's got offensive weapons on his side of the ball um, to make things happen. And in Miami, I'm sorry, we just don't have that. It just wouldn't make any sense for Tom Brady on the back end of his career, when he's 43 years old almost, to come to a team who has one of the worst offensive lines in football, the worst running game in football, and his only real target on the offensive side is gonna be Devontae Parker. Devontae Parker, who finally decided to show up and play some freaking football after seven years of being in the league. You really want that guy to be your number one, and then who else do you have? You've got Mike Kosicki, who is three years into the league and had a good, not great season last year, and that's it. You got nobody else. You've got Albert Wilson, who's very average. I don't think that he's anything special at all. He might not even be on the team because of his contract coming up. And you've got guys like Jakeem Grant, Preston Williams, who's an undrafted free agent. These are the guys that Tom Brady would be working with. And if he wasn't happy with the talent that they placed around him in New England, he's certainly not gonna be happy with the talent that they put around him in Miami. That's not gonna happen. So I just wanna squash the idea of Tom Brady coming to Miami now because it's just not going to happen. If Tom Brady were to sign with any team uh, this offseason, it's not going to be a team that's rebuilding. It's not going to be a team that's middle of the pack. Uh, it's going to be a team that is one quarterback away from winning a Super Bowl. Not making it to the Super Bowl, one quarterback away from winning the Super Bowl. Now that kind of segues us into rumor number two. And this one's a little bit more interesting uh, in terms of the possibility of it actually happening. Rumor number two is Tom Brady to the San Francisco 49ers. Now San Francisco signing Tom Brady, that's an interesting story to me. Reason being, San Francisco made it all the way to the Super Bowl last year. So here's the question that I've got for you guys. Tom Brady signs in San Francisco. Let's say that that happens. That obviously means that Jimmy G is out of town. He is not going to stick around and play second fiddle to Tom Brady on another team. He did it in New England. Uh, he got traded to San Francisco. He's not going to have. He's not going to do that again in San Francisco. It wouldn't make any sense. Um, he's much better than a backup quarterback. What do you guys think about the potential of Brady signing in San Francisco and the Dolphins trading for Jimmy Garoppolo? Dolphins need a quarterback for the future. Jimmy Garoppolo is only 28 years old. He is a good quarterback. He's made it to the Super Bowl. Um, he clearly can get it done. He is a Pro Bowl caliber quarterback. Um, and I think that he's clearly better than Ryan Fitzpatrick and Josh Rosen. Now the odds of Tom Brady signing in San Francisco and Jimmy G being on the move, the Dolphins coming in and trading for him, I think are very, very small. I don't think that's going to happen. And if you want my opinion, I think that Tom Brady's going to you know, re-sign for the Patriots. I don't think that he's going to be uh, in any other jersey next year. It just wouldn't seem right. It wouldn't look right. Tom Brady is a Patriot through and through, and he's got a great relationship with Robert Kraft. I just don't think that he's going to go anywhere else. But if Tom Brady does sign with San Francisco, Man, that's gonna be an interesting, interesting offseason for Miami because they have the potential at that point to trade for a quarterback who can be there long term. Jimmy Garoppolo is only 28 years old. He has consistently gotten it done for San Francisco over the last couple of seasons. 
He has made it to a Super Bowl. All you need to do for Jimmy Garoppolo is put a good team around him. And I'm confident that Chris Greer and Brian Flores are good evaluators of talent and then they can make that happen for the Dolphins if they decide to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. So what do you guys think about the idea of Tom Brady in a 49ers jersey and Jimmy G as a Miami Dolphin in the 2020 NFL season? Do you like the idea of trading for Jimmy G who's only 28 years old? Or would you rather see the Dolphins draft their franchise guy this year? Let me know down below and we'll talk about it. And also make sure you like and subscribe, help the channel grow, and also hit that bell so that you guys know when I'm putting out videos. There's gonna be a lot coming out soon with free agency, tampering period, and the draft. I'm gonna be pumping out a lot of videos. So make sure you know when they're coming out. And thank you so much for watching everybody. And as always, fins up.